In this video, I want to go through and set it up so we're, when we are unarmed, we use the unarmed layer, and when we are armed, we use the armed layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a default for the tutorial layer unarmed. Like so, and you'll see, yeah, we can still look up and down and lean and stuff, but it's not uh, quite correct. So you can see because we don't look up or down really with the back, we use all in the head and stuff like that. So what we want to do is on the shooter pawn component inside of our character here, we're going to go down and we have a on held actor set. So we want to bind to that event and pretty much if we have a held actor, meaning this is valid, then we want to link to a specific layer. Otherwise we want to unlink. So I do have helper functions for this. So we have a link. So we have link anim layer class and we have a unlink anim layer class. Now we want to do both of these and the reason for that is blending. So for whatever reason, if you don't unlink before you link to a new class and you try to set up blending between the two, it won't work. Not entirely sure why, it just doesn't. But so if we have a held actor, we want to use the tutorial layer, which is the armed one. And if it is invalid, we want to use the tutorial layer unarmed. Compile, save, I forgot. We gotta plug those in for the target. And now we can test it. So now I'm looking up and down. I'm using the full spine there, and I can more easily test this by just doing a delay for, we'll do five seconds. So you can see everything's kind of working, and then we come in and we get our actual pose there. And that's something else we want to continue on, is basically if we have nothing equipped, we want to do nothing. So, meaning we want to use some kind of other animation. Uh, let me check. I don't know if it comes with any that are unarmed, but we'll see. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling it didn't, but we have idle rifle hip, and that's going to be what we use for the, basically, unarmed layer. Uh, idle rifle hip. So this is going to be when we have nothing equipped, so basically it'll look kind of like this. Uh, your hands are going to be down here, but it's not really you know, too big of a concern. And again, you can see we haven't fixed the uh, animation for that one, but it doesn't matter because this is the unarmed. So what we want to do is we want to do a blend by gameplay tag. So if we search for layered blend per bone, here we have basically layers, or sorry, not layered blend per bone, uh, blend by Search for gameplay tag. Should have a blend by gameplay tag. Blend poses by gameplay tag. I don't know why that was so hard to find. And pretty much the hip is going to be the none. That's going to be kind of our idle. And then we do have a series of gameplay tags already done. So we're going to use the held actor ones. So we're using an M4. So we're going to use the M4. Or sorry, not the. We're going to clear that. So we're going to be uh, plugging in a tag. So when we equip the M4, it's going to switch to the M4. So we want to add one for the M4 as a slot. So we're going to add a new... Duh. We're going to add the held actor for the M4, plug that in, and plug it in there. So we're going to go into, again, more detail when we set up the firearm. This is just to kind of get all of our character stuff going with the example. So I'll explain real quick what the active gameplay tag is. And again, this is optional. So if you want to go a different route and basically do this like we're doing here where we switch linked layers, that's honestly a better approach. This one's just a little bit simpler and more of a beginner friendly approach. So off our active gameplay tag, we want to promote that to a variable and we're going to call this one held actor tag and simply have it plugged in like so. And in our event graph, here you can see our procedural, our set shooter pawn data. We have our gameplay tag here. So we can just 
move that to our tutorial category. Just set it like so. And that'll take care of it. So now we're at this idle hip down here, but when we equip our M4, it should come up to the, well, this guy, our, uh, what was it called? Totoro M4 idle. So the, I think it was like A underscore rifle or idle rifle iron sights or something was the original name. But, uh, yeah, that's basically all there is to it. So we can test the unequip by, I'll do it on backspace. Basically, I'll get the shooter pawn component. We're going to get the held actor. And if it is valid, we simply want to detach from actor. So we'll keep it in world space. And we want to then clear the held actor from the shooter pawn component. So that way it no longer uses it as part of the system. So I'll change the delay to just two seconds to speed things up. So we're good to go. We equip, press backspace again, and we are back down to our normal idle. And that's what we wanted. So that basically just quote unquote dropped it for us. Keep it simple. And in the next video, I want to go through, and this is where we're going to actually make use of the blend mask we, we made in the character setup. So pretty much we're going to split the upper and lower body. So we're going to run the locomotion on the lower body while keeping this the same for the upper. So I'll see you then.